American television, and I promise you within the next month you are going to be seeing him many times because he's about to take a trip over here and be on shows that are on opposite this. But we got him first. <laughs> That'll get him. Here is the interview with Michael Caine. Now, I'll show you exactly where he lives. Would you roll the film, please, Kirk? That way. Uh, it's in a muse. That's M-E-W-S, in the heart of London. And these townhouses are converted stables. And they... S yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they're very yeah, yeah. famous in England. Can you throw them the Beatles? They throw them at the Beatles. Once one of the Beatles said, I like jelly babies. And ever since then they throw them. I'm sure they threw them in America. They probably weren't jelly babies if you don't know them. They're very popular in America, of course. They're all of you English, and you're going to be about the most popular actor in America after um, Ipris. It has it, to do with intelligence, counterintelligence here in British, isn't it? it it's a sort of shortening of, of, of words. IPCRIS stands for a form of brainwashing. What kind of brainwashing? It's called the induction of psychosomatic condition reflex by stress. Like sinus? <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't call a picture the induction of psychosomatic condition reflexes by stress file. Right? <laughs> That's worse than IPCRIS, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like how to succeed in business yeah, without really... Without really <laughs> The other thing I'm trying to think of, Michael, what's the last movie star to wear glasses? Well, Leading I'm Man. Leading Man. Well, there's one, a comedian, uh, Harold Lloyd, and the other one is uh, <laughs> Clark Kent, Superman. Superman. Yeah. Uh, only in uh, an impress file, I stay as Clark Kent all the time. I never say Shazam or anything. <laughs> I don't turn into Superman. That's not what it's about. The role you play in Ipcris file has been compared to a kind of James Bond. Because and most of it is yeah. produced by the same men. Yeah, well, it's produced by one of the same men. Two men produced a James Bond. Uh, Broccoli and Saltzman. Uh, and Saltzman. Saltzman produced this. Um, but he's... James Bond is Clark Kent after he says Shazam. <laughs> he's ah, Superman. I see. But real spies are Clark Kent all the time. I see. And that's what I we made our story it, about, you know, real spies. To be incredibly passionate, and I think that passion is attractive, whatever you're passionate about. I've actually learned something new myself, just watching the way that Rankin puts photographs together. Is It might be worth, when you think about your business idea, try and photograph it. And actually, he encapsulates an entrepreneur in one photograph. Oh, uh, that's nice. Any junk is basically professionalised man and brand solution for clearing junk, any sort of junk from uh, homes or businesses. A holiday nanny is a bespoke nanny company. We only provide nannies to go on holiday with families. Super Jam is a business that I started when I was 14 years old after my grandmother taught me how to make jam using her secret recipes one afternoon. That's brilliant. Normally photographing people whose faces are recognisable. So for, so for me, it was trying to find a way of making people that no one would know from Adam interested in to who looked at the photos. I kind of came up with my own brief, trying to get them to kind of do nice, more humorous um, poses than you would normally expect kind of business people to do. I thought ranking was fantastic. The um the representation was spot on. The essence of our business is um, we feel like you know we're riding high we're on top of the world in terms of our marketplace and hopefully the pictures that are being produced today really you know epitomise that. Everything's a learning curve about being a small business. Everything you, you go through the next step, everything's new. Um, so you just learn on the way and um, it's great to be next to people um, that are so good in their industry. There's not much glamour within a small startup organisation. And you know, you're, you're being photographed um, by a sort of world renowned photographer. Avoiding becoming professional in any capacity. When I graduated from college, I started working as an actor because but I was trying to be out there. But actually, 10 years ago, it was extremely. Uh, Rankin. Yeah, I remember. Rankin photography. They used to. Yeah, I remember. It was in the Northern Quarter, wasn't it? Sankey's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sculpture has kind of a sexual side to it. So oh, you go okay, into a relationship, yeah. um, which has it up Let's and down. Calm. The outcome is, you know, at the beginning of...